Hey, it's Derek of VibrantVegan.com. A report published last week in the Journal of the American Medical Association suggests that women who have been on osteoporosis drugs for five years or more are at a nearly three times higher risk of developing unusual fractures as those who have been on the drug only transiently. Well, this got me thinking about osteoporosis. Now, osteoporosis, like any disease, is caused by either deficiency or toxicity or a combination of the two. But guess what? Osteoporosis is not, uh, even though industry marketing tells us so, caused by a milk deficiency. It's not caused from a calcium supplement deficiency, and it's definitely not caused from an osteoporosis drug deficiency. There's one main factor which leads to osteoporosis, but before I get to that, here are two things to do to maximize the effectiveness of your osteoporosis prevention program. Number one, eat a mineral-rich vegan diet. Number two, eliminate foods that are known to cause osteoporosis, like sodas and sugars and white flour containing foods and animal products. All these foods are highly acidic and your body over a lifetime can rob your bones of calcium to buffer that acid. Okay, now on to the main factor. Yes, calcium intake does matter, but it's not the main factor. You know, in the United States, we drink more bovine mammary secretions than just about everyone else in the world Yet we have high rates of osteoporosis. And yes, uh, vitamin D status matters, but you can have a huge calcium intake and excellent blood levels of vitamin D. But if you don't have this one thing, this main factor, you're still likely to develop osteoporosis. So what's the main thing? Here it is. The most important factor when it comes to osteoporosis prevention and maintaining strong bones for a lifetime is movement, it's exercise. The reason we have such high rates of osteoporosis is because we have such high rates of sedentism. We spend way too much time sitting around and not enough time moving around. Our bones remodel based on the stress we place on them. This is known as Wolf's Law. If you're sitting around all day long, you're going to have weak, brittle bones. It doesn't require strong bones to sit around all day. If you want strong bones, you need to move. Move your body, run, jump, dance, play. Do it every day and have strong, healthy bones. All right. Be vegan. Be vibrant.